The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome into the Sportsman's Table this week from the International Culinary Institute in Myrtle Beach on the beautiful campus of Ori Georgetown Tech. And my guest chef this week is Jake Rolls from the Parsons Table in Little River, South Carolina. A great fish recipe. You all need to pay attention to this. I'll tell you what, the Parsons Table, awesome place to go. Jake, welcome, man, to the show. Thank you for it's nice to have you on this week. I appreciate week. that very much. Well, you got it going on here. Okay? Yeah, we, mahi, we brought mahi. you something pretty fun today. We're yeah. going to have a little fun with it. So okay. We got a fresh South Carolina mahi here. Okay. Uh, nice little portion uh, caught right off of McClellanville out there outside of Garden City. Oh, wow. So what we're going to do here is we're going to flour. We're going to do a little egg wash dredge on it. Okay. And then a little secret that you don't really think about doing with fish, we're going to go sweet on it today. We're going to do some coconut. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's a first. So, and then what we'll do after that, we'll get a little oil in the pan. Okay. We'll drop her down in there and we're gonna sear it for a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit on each side, about two minutes, maybe on each side. And then what you'll do is you'll finish it in the oven uh, for about 15 minutes. Uh, and while it's cooking in the oven, we'll make up a nice little sauce. All right, now Bob, we got our fish finishing in the oven there. So we're okay. gonna go ahead and make our sauce. All right. What we have here is some fresh berries from South Carolina, oh. uh, some strawberries. Get those rolling in the pot. Mm. Then I have a berry medley. It's a uh, blackberry and blueberry and a raspberry combo oh, going wow. on right there. And that gives, it's a quadruple berry. It's its the extra step that I like to go. <laughs> You've that covered extra, all the berries. That bases. extra mile. Uh, yeah. What we'll do here is about a cup of orange juice. And then we're going to do about a cup of strawberry daiquiri mix. Woo. Hold the rum. The I got rum. you. I got you. A little early for the rum. I yeah, mean, I, I worry later. about that with the fish. I don't want him getting out, <laughs> getting a DUI. That, that's it. And yeah. then uh, what we're going to do here is about another cup of sugar. Oh, okay. Now, is this something, Jake, that you will um, offer at the we're restaurant? We're going to work that collected sauce. This is a uh, recipe we like to do when the weather gets warm outside ah, for I the restaurant. It. It's I a very you. summer, spring friendly res uh, right. recipe. Yeah. People seem to really enjoy it, so uh, I wrote down the recipe and kept it in the book. Man, that smells awesome. Yeah, God. and so um, now that that's collecting its thoughts, almost like a like a jam or a jelly almost, yeah, if you I will. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mm. Goodness. Oh, wow. A little heavy, that's fine. Vanilla is delicious. Okay. We're going to do a teaspoon of dry ginger. Oh, wow. Now, is this going to thicken up a little bit? Oh, yeah. That, yes, sir. It's okay. uh, it's going to thicken up with our cornstarch. Ah, I got uh, you. After we let everything kind of collect its thoughts and get to know each other, right. then we're going to take and mix in a little bit of cornstarch, get the thickness that we're looking for, mm. and uh, we're going to plate it up with our fish, and we're going to have a good time with it. All right. But before we go away, the secret, to, though, is a very coarse, uh, you want to zest a, a orange and oh. lemon and a lime very coarsely. Really? No kidding. And you get that extra color in there. Ain't that something? Hmm. Wow. So you could do a fine, uh, you could do a fine or coarse. I prefer to do the coarse. It looks very nice. Well, listen, I know Matt Parsons at the Parsons table would love for you to sit around and do a lot more thinking about stuff like this. Oh, yeah. We're, we're getting very creative. We're having a good time with it. Uh, <laughs> we look forward to doing more things just like this. That's so, great. Yeah. Yes, sir. We do appreciate that. Uh, and what we'll do now uh, is we'll uh, we'll thicken with a little cornstarch uh, and a little orange juice, actually. Instead, of, you can use water to thicken your cornstarch, but what we'll do is we'll mix it with a little orange juice, our leftover orange juice. And I like to be a little just hands-on. Mix it in there, there with you your go. finger and just get after it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you don't mix your cornstarch before you mix it into your uh, sauce, then it turns into kind of chunky like rock Ah, sandwich. clumps. Yes, sir. I got you. We ready to roll? You want me to get the fish? I think we're ready. Let's grab that fish. All right, man. Let's we'll see get what we can fish. do with I'm it. Sure that thing's going to be warm and hot. Nice and warm. Let me grab it. Woo about 350 for about oh, man. 12 to 15 minutes. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Awesome. And what we'll do here is we'll yeah. actually, now we've got our finished sauce as well, Bob, here. Ah, okay. See how it turned into a nice, almost thick, oh, kind of yeah. like a jelly, like I mentioned. I got a nice thick strawberry in there, nice bite to it. Mm. Man, that is awesome. And what we'll do is we'll take our fish here. Place it right on top. Mm. Nice little strawberry, little garnish. Gotcha. And this here you could find at the Parsons table very frequently nowadays. Now that the uh, weather's turned nice, like I said, we like to do this here for the warm weather. There you go. 
Everybody right. seems to enjoy that fresh that white mahi. That is awesome. Fish. Coconut mahi mahi. Yes, I would sir. never have thought about it. Jake, thanks for being a guest on the, the show today. It's just really awesome. And folks, check out the Parsons Table, Little River, South Carolina. I tell you what. And I'll be honest with you, as always, it's certified SC. You bet. And I tell you what, log on to certifiedsc.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. We'll see you right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit certifiedsc.com. It's a matter of taste.